So, next session um, is um, Krasimir from uh, uh, Croatia Telecom. Please come on stage. And it's a very, very good session to have now because Shay walk us through a lot of best practices and uh, Krasimir has a very compelling story how they implemented at Croatia Telecom this, uh, uh, you know, what we just heard, you know, is a, is a, is a journey. Is a, a very interesting presentation, and uh, you know, hope you're going to enjoy Krasimir. Thank you, Ricardo. The stage is yours. So, hello, my name is Krasimir Prekrat. I'm coming from Croatian Telecom, and I'm currently in position of test tool designer. So, Croatian Telecom is a leading telco operator in Croatia, and we are trying to be not just the telco operator, we are expanding our business. We are, for instance, now investing in things such as uh, electric charging station for electric vehicles. And we are also making big uh, acquisition in the region. So there you can see on the uh, right side that we have bought many companies in Croatia. We are expanding our business also on IT sectors, on tourist sector, on uh, other telco providers like Optima. And even though maybe this numbers not, are not so much in the European standards, but we are the largest uh, telco operator in Croatia, and we are covering, uh, I think, 60% of the total telco market in Croatia. So, uh, we are subsidiary of Deutsche Telekom, and from that, we are constantly getting some very interesting projects. So, for instance, this uh, is one of that, uh, portfolio of project, it's called One Up. What we are trying to do with One Up project is to enable our customers from, for instance, other countries, they also have uh, subsidiaries of Telco of Deutsche Telekom, to come to Croatia and to have the same look and feel of the app in which you can manage all your Telco services and to have uh, some customer uh, journey, I would say, uh, that you can come to Croatia and use this, uh, the application in the same way as you, have you, you are using in your own country. Because Croatia is very popular as a summer vacation uh, destination and many of our customers are coming to Adriatics and we want to uh, help them to feel as much as they could uh, like in their own country and using the same application for managing telco services. And that said, we have started with this project and we have ended in the cave. What does that mean? That means that we have tried to test it and uh, the guys have called me and tell me, okay, we need to test this application, but we don't have enough resources to test. Like here in the picture, you can see in the cave. What, what does that mean? That means that if you are from 20 years doing something without any changes, that means that you are in the Stone Age. And that's what have been with this application also. So uh, they have uh, tried to recruit many testers. They have tried to find many phones and they have tried to use everything, to manage everything via Excel and Word. This is something that is uh, normal for our company. Prior than we have come to ask our partner Comping and Microfocus to come in and to suggest how we can do something better. Because you know, at the end, every project manager which is doing the things like in all way will have this face. You know, whenever you ask them, okay, come to me and tell me, how are you going with the testing? Oh, wait a minute, I need to took the whole Excel spreadsheets from every tester which are happy because they are not measured. This, is, this was the biggest problem. And since I am prior with working with Microfocus Tools, I have worked with uh, a call center uh, portfolio of application in my company. Uh, we have started to measure our agents 20 years ago. And I don't know 
if in your country is the same, but in Croatia, you will pay average tester as twice as much as you will pay call center agent. And even though you will measure call center agent and you will not measure testers. So that was the problem. And what is the solution? Solution is microfocus portfolio of tools. So we have bought this portfolio for our biggest project that we're currently going on. This is IT transformation. I have speak about it in Vienna conference. But now I can tell that the IT transformation is uh, going very well and we are using all of this. And the biggest advantage that we have and the uh, uh, biggest change that everybody uh, are feeling is to have ILM as a centralized tool to gather all, uh, all types of testing. So we have the performance center, we have a mobile center, we have UFT clients. So we are able to cover every aspect of testing with tools like this. And after we have implemented this uh, uh, system, we have end from the cave to the space shuttle. And in the space shuttle, we are now experience not just the question of can you come to us? So decision maker calls us and he said, can you come to us? Can you explain how are your test is going? No, I, we can now provide information such as we have problem in that and that area. We have sold this much percent of testing so far and we are going to, tomorrow we are going to cover this much. So this is very big change for us. And we have also experienced very big cost savings because if you are looking at the cave, you will see that there are many testers. We now have three professional testers which are using microfocus tools. It is true that there are need to be more educated. You need to provide them education to use such a tool, but at the end, benefits are enormous. Because currently, after end of each test, they are able to clearly produce everything from the beginning. So I, I'm talking about documentation, so full fledged of documentation. Every test is recorded, every test can be reproduced, every test is actually known. Which, which is the time that it started, what was the test parameters, etc. So, the first thing that is very important in this uh, new uh, system is to, uh, to manage your defects. Why the, manage, uh, why the defect management is so important? You know, uh, in uh, Creation Telecom, defect management is something that is constantly going in the way that, you know, we are not satisfied with vendors. Then we come to vendors and say, them, okay, you guys, you did not perform very well. Okay, how do you mean, the vendor asks, how do you mean we are not performing very well? So, you are not performing very well because we have covered 30% of your issue, 30% of tests currently. We should cover 60%, but uh, the problem is that we are constantly having three or four defects which is constantly came around. And then vendor asks us, okay, what are the defects? And then in the old times, you need to open, an, again, Excel sheet, look for it. Today, we have, uh, have, we have ILM synchronizer. With ILM synchronizer, we are able to synchronize everything between our ILM server and Jira. It is not just Jira. We can provide connection to 10 or 15 system, regardless of the type, to connect with ILM and to have a complete management and complete track and integration in both direction. That means if vendor finish something at six o'clock after uh, uh, at, the, at the evening, we will have that the same information in ILM server. So there is very big change in the way that we can track them. Other thing that is very useful for us 
is this automatic escalation. Escalation is very important for us because, you know, manager has not, has, doesn't have time to constantly monitoring on how testing is going. In 99% of the cases, it's going like, you know, three days, he will not ask anything. And after three days, he will ask, okay, how you are going? And you will tell them, yeah, you know, just wait a little bit. You know, I need to go to Excel to find, no, not anymore. This system is able to automatically escalate, depending on workflow, to our managing uh, directors, every possible escalation that there is. So we just defined SLA times, and if there is SLA breach, it will automatically send email. So managers will be on time uh, reported that there is a problem. And also, one very useful feature, automatic defect propagation for production. Basically, uh, during the test in Stone Age, we didn't have any back information to our colleagues that are, that are working on production, that are solving production issues. Now, when we perform go live, they have full information on how tests were going and what was the problem that was discovered during the testing. So this is also very important to us and enable us to do things with, uh, big level, with, with much big level of quality. And what are the key tools to do that? The first thing is UFT. Everybody loves UFT. Why? Because it reduces the, it reduces the, uh, the involvement of uh, our testers in a way that there are actually some tests that could be automated and could be, uh, could be driven automatically by a scheduler from ILM. But the other thing, that is most beneficial of these three is Sprinter. Sprinter is something that after we have deployed, everybody instantly have seen what is the benefit of using Sprinter. So after Sprinter, and it is this screenshot that is, that is uh, uh, providing us storyboard. This storyboard is something that everybody loves. Why? Because after performing tests, they just print it out, and after that, they have documentation, something that we didn't have before. Because documentation has been always done in a way that there are some other uh, print, print screens and screenshot, not the, the one from the test, because it was done, I don't know, two or three weeks after the system is in production. And now we can provide the actual result actual screenshot from the test. And the third uh, application, this application is not very much liked by our uh, IT operation guys, because every time it says that there is something wrong. And, they, and then they do not want to admit that there is something wrong. They always said, okay, it is a problem of your test tool. No, it's problem for your tools, you need, to exchange, you need to do something because after 100 or 1,000 users, there will be a problem. Okay, let's just see. Okay, let's just see, and then everything goes to hell, but this is just once, twice, and third time, they will think about it. You know, because if you constantly repeating this and testing in uh, performance in that way, that will be uh, definitely a sign for them to change something. And after that, this is actual screenshot for our application. So I'm not just telling here something that is in the cloud. So I want to present this picture. This is actually our application. And this is one feature that I'm most proud of. When we started to perform uh, testing, I have promised to the guys in the one up team that they will be able to manually click on the phone via computer. And that is working. This is feature that was in, I believe, presented in October or November last year. So it is working and we are using it now. And we, they are now doing the testing in the exploratory mode. 
So they even didn't know that there is, this, is, this is possible. You know, because every time our guys expected that vendor is the one who will provide the tests in Excel format. And now they're actually able, just after release of uh, application, so just after the release for test is ready, to perform some actual exploratory test and to record every step directly on application. And there is other things in Sprinter, like macros, GUI forms, defect creation, and this is especially useful because now, just with the click of the button, every defect has its own according print screen. So this is something that they wouldn't do. They just write down, okay, we have a problem on that module with that field. But now, every defect has its own print screen and it's, it's much easier for developers to find out what's the problem and how to solve it. There are also some other useful things like direct export to UFT. We have tried this and it is working, but I would suggest to anyone that uh, approach to UFT test creation in a way that actually ask testers and give him UFT and they start to click directly in UFT, not to export, because there is big amount of work to be done if you want to have fully automate something that is recorded in Sprinter. And after that, we have UFT. This is something that we have been started. And this is the beginning of Microfocus ILM in Croatian Telecom. So actually, it was used as the RPA tool because we didn't know any RPA tools at that time. It was three or four years ago. And we have, uh, we have, we have uh, 10 UFT virtual PC stations in which we are uh, after we developed script, we have uh, connected with mobile center and we are every day uh, letting 10 scripts in regression test to run out. And after that, we are collecting one Excel and this Excel is containing all the results from 10 different process which we are testing. And this is screenshot of that. And after that, we are going on Sprinter. Again, Sprinter is a very good tool to schedule automatic tests to be performed as need of different computers and use different data tables for automatic test process regardless of where they are residing. So basically, this is something that we have uh, done in order to automate the whole process even further. And in the end, we have performance testing challenge. Now, this is the thing which now is the biggest, uh, biggest uh, issue of them all. We have here many phones and we are expecting at the end the one up to serve one million users. So what is possibility? What, what are the chances that you will be able to perform something and to do something regarding these tests uh, if you are not using load runner or some performance testing tools. There are no chance because how they are planned to do this? They are planned to acquire 10 agents, 10 students who will come, they will give them mobile phone and they will start to test. It is normal that this is something that you cannot do because if they are performing load of 10 users, then what's the point? We expect that this application will be used by one, one million users. So there is no point. And I have also implemented this in the way that I have used Load Runner to uh, perform uh, at least, we are performing at least 2,000 to 3,000 uh, virtual users to perform such a test. And this is enough to cover everything. And with Load Runner, we have also possibility to create 
automatic performance test with manual user section. And this is the true client. True client is very well, uh, very well suited application. And it's so easy that I don't need to be some professional to do this. It is enough to start uh, using true client just by clicking, just by uh, connecting to mobile center, and it will give me the mobile uh, phone. I will try, I will start to click, and when I start to click, it will give me the result. After that, only problem that we have had with true client is that it's taking much of resources, so we need to plan to have big uh, hardware, big hardware station, powerful hardware station, that we could uh, put this uh, script in action. But in the end, true client was very good solution for us, and we and we have uh, we have used it so far, I think two or three times with. Uh, a uh, very, very low load for now, but it is very promising too. So other things that we could do is this test result collection on multiple machines. So this is something that is very, uh, very useful. We have uh, made some tests, and after that, we have started to test on several different load generators. These load generators have performed different kind of results. And we have aggregate everything and perform it in one graph. So this is something that is very useful and I don't know of any other tool that enable us to, to do that. And also, this is very, very important thing, parametrization. So every application with, with usage of every, every run, we need to provide different parameters. So for instance, during the test of one app, we need to provide a different SIM and different uh, MSISDN number. So if you cleverly make some parametrization file, you can use 100 same parameters for 10,000 runs. It is something that you can done in load runner. And at the end, coloration functionality. This is something that is also been very useful for us because uh, we have found out that in every pass, every test, application is giving us different results. So prior than that, we didn't have any possibility to uh, automate this with, for instance, UFT because every run, you can also use UFT. Yes? Some question? No? So uh, with every run, correlation was something that was, not be able, that was not be able to handle via UFT, but with load runner, we have the possibility to handle correlation. And that's it. I went to the end. So any questions? So if there are no questions, I have a question for you. Yes. So how long did it take, this, this journey? So you started from, of course, a kind of early stage of the, the, um, the cave. No, the, the yeah. Uh, it took some, about one and a half year. OK. Yeah. But, but it was not uh, the, the thing that it is not accepted by uh, just regarding the software, but it is the thing that it actually was postponed due to uh, latency of all projects that need to be done with the tool. Yeah. So and now you have the majority of the process, the, the, of your yeah. projects under this uh, framework. Yeah, we are, we are at the beginning yet, but the one up is something that is very big. And if everybody use in this tool in big project, they will for sure use it in a small one. And this is something. If there are no questions from uh, the audience, I would like to thank you very much. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, here's a few presents. Thank you. And uh, yeah. honestly, I think it flies very well. We saw a few of the best practices in the industry trends, and we see how a company with uh, this 
quite big degree of complexity, like your companies, have implemented uh, this type of solutions. So, quite interesting. Now, um, we reached the break. Uh, it's uh, 30 minutes. Coffee is available in the Experience the New Zone. Feel free. We will uh, to go there and uh, to, 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 to get to, to, to see the, de the, the demos at the booth as well. We will start again at 11 sharp. We're going to have uh, another interesting story about Deutsche, uh, Deutsche Bank. And then there will be uh, the future of testing with our product directors talking about the roadmap and the evolution of our tools. Thank you very much. <laughs>